Hello and welcome to Let Me Bore You to Sleep. Please don't bang against the thing, please, Vin. Right, I've got the camera. I'm filming this. Yee! I'm not sure how long the actual bat <laughs> the battery will last. And Vinny, it's on a tripod and Vinny, he really is starting to get closer and closer to the legs of the tripod. So I don't know how or if he's going to avoid it. So uh, my name is Jason Newland. This is Let Me Boy to Sleep. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Uh, what else? Uh, my website's jasonnewland.com. Eh? I... I'm just watching him go right underneath the tripod legs. And it's, they're only little legs. So, hopefully. Plus, he's got a habit of leaning against things. So, when I'm at the desk, or if I'm sitting down, he will lean against my legs. And because I've got such skinny little legs, maybe he'll think the tripod legs are mine. I've grown three more legs, maybe. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what the quality of the sound is, or if the video is on this, but hey, according to this, I got one minute and 55, no, one hour and 55 minutes of battery left. It's a full battery, but last time I used this camera, it's a ZV-1 Sony. Last time I used it, it ran out partly through it. So, you're right, Finn. We'll see, we'll see. Either way, it's going to be audio. It's going to be recorded on the audio. <sighs> oh, yeah, the, um, I got a Facebook group called Jason Newlands itchy sorry jason that's my hands jason newland's boring group on facebook so you can join if you want it's a private group but it's really there for anyone that you know regularly listens to or watches my stuff and i'd like to say thank you big thank you to hillary thank you for your paypal gift that's very kind of you um I'm not sure what else there is. And um, that's it, really. There was something I wanted to talk about. I actually thought about it like I want to talk about. And normally I don't have a subject, particularly, that I generally have in mind to discuss. It's quite warm in here all these lights but I, I, there was something I wanted to talk about that I was going to talk about but I can't oh yes this is it I went in a in a weird direction on YouTube last night or early this morning and because I'm I'm interested in psychology and I'm starting my degree in October, which is next month. Um, looking into different things, different theories and I don't know, experiments and things like that. Famous studies and also studies that aren't famous, you know, ones that are maybe gone under the radar, but equally or maybe even more important than the famous ones. So I'm, I'm interested in you know, generally everything connected to psychology. And I decided to delve into the idea of the observer affecting the experimental outcome. Vinny, you don't have to lick that now. Well, clearly he does. Blimey. Anyway. 
Um, I so I, I went on YouTube. I I wasn't really sure how to word it correctly without googling because when I was sitting on my city, I didn't have my phone near me. Computers over there on the on the table and. I think I was eating my breakfast, so I couldn't really be bothered to sort of get up. So I thought I'd just um, YouTube, just, you know, search on YouTube on the telly. And eventually I kind of came up with what it is. I didn't realise it. it wasn't so much psychology, it was more quantum mechanics, which is not something that I've ever really delved into, to be honest. And when I started looking into, <laughs> into it, it's mind-boggling and a little bit too, um, I don't know if the word abstract is correct, but it's very, I don't know if I can really grasp, I mean, I haven't grasped it, to be honest, uh, very, very confusing what little I've actually looked into. I think I visited it many years ago with the hope of maybe trying to learn something. But I mean, I remember I read um, Stephen Hawking, Hawking's A History of Time, is it? I read that when I was about, I was a very young man when I read that. And I think I understood three words out of the whole book. No, four. The title, basically, A History of Time. That That's like the four words. It was, I didn't know what he was going on about. Did he? I, I don't know. It's, you know, I, it was just, it was beyond me, to be honest. So, and I wasn't... See, I'm not a particularly practical person when it comes to fixing shelves or uh, you know, changing a tyre on a car. I've never done that. I don't know how to do it. Uh, I've never... I mean, I struggled with changing a bicycle chain when I was a kid. I, I mean, I could do it, kind of, but I didn't like it. I didn't feel any kind of fulfilment from doing it and just ended up with greasy hands so yeah I'm probably not that practical with my hands however I, when it comes to things like psychology or hypnosis or counselling or those kinds of things psychotherapy I'm only really interested in, from a practical perspective, of what works, what is useful. Now, I, I mean, I enjoy the theory. I do. It's you know, it's fun. Uh, if you look at Freud, m m most of his stuff was theory. It was just, it was he was a very, very creative person. And some of that stuff has stuck. You know, some of the words that he came out with and some of the ideas he came out with has stuck. A lot of it has been completely debunked. So, for me, I never really, like, let's say for pain relief, for example. Or, okay, let's, let's look at it from a perspective of sleeping. So the idea that if you was to try and force yourself to stay awake whilst listening to my voice and looking at my funny face. Not like keeping your eyes open, not like forcing it without blinking, because I don't think that's particularly good for your eyes, looking at a computer screen or a TV or a telephone. I don't think staring without blinking is particularly healthy for your eyes to do. It's definitely, I don't think it's healthy for my eyes. 
I've got an optician's appointment in two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah, two weeks. So I'm going to actually, I'm going with a neighbour and we've decided, well, you didn't hit the tripod good. We decided to go together because then it's, we can go and have lunch or something. So it's kind of a, not a day out, but it's, you know, keep each other company while we go there. Uh, she's got her appointment first and then I've got my appointment. So that will be, um, I'll probably discuss this before. I'm going to try and get three pairs of glasses. One for like when I'm out and about. Uh, for dis for distance and you know for general day to day because I need glasses pretty much all the time. I want to get separate ones for reading because at the moment I've got them at the bottom of these glasses, and it's not. I, I don't like. I literally have to move the book right down there. It's either that or I have to look up at the ceiling and then look down, and read. Like it doesn't fit. Doesn't <laughs> doesn't work for me. I liked it to start with because when I first got these glasses I looked further away from the ground so I felt taller but that was just uh, that didn't last for long my brain got used to being small again so I I'm four foot two you can't tell but that's I don't think that's too short really not really so I'm looking maybe to get some, because I'm starting the university course, it's on Open University, it's all online, so I'm going to be staring at a computer screen, although I do that quite a bit anyway with the website building, continuously doing stuff, you know, there's a lot of staring at screens. I do get eye strain, I get headaches and stuff sometimes. Um, so I'd like to reduce that. You know, if possible, I'd like to just not have that happen anymore, the, the eye strain. So, and I've also got a Kindle. I mean, I've got quite a few books, but um, I don't know. I just want to be able to, I want my eyes to not be put under unnecessary stress so as to cause them to deteriorate you know, quicker than they need to, if that makes sense. So, my plan is to get glasses like these, uh, you know, something like this, you know, act alike because, um, so I've got macro degeneration is, I think it's called that, in the family, it's hereditary, and they said I might have the beginnings of it, is why my eyesight's not so good. And it's kind of at the back of your eyes, this problem. So I don't know really. But I've got Actolite. I've had it for 10 years now, I think. I've had where the, the, you know, the it's like sunshades when I go outside. So I need to get that again because they said I need to really protect my eyes from the sun. Not just during the su summer, but, you know, sunlight. Try and protect my eyes from that so I'll speak to them and see what else I can do maybe also also I saw somewhere years ago and I'm talking 20 years ago and then I kind of revisited a few times over the years There's certain tinted glasses like just normal glasses whatever prescription you have on the lenses but tinted whether it's green or blue or yellow or red or whatever color uh, it can have an effect uh, for autism which can be beneficial to some people with autism or on the autistic spectrum I think we're supposed to say now I mean at the time I was studying uh, Asperger's so I was reading loads of books on that and the because I was like for uh, I was trying to figure out what what was going on with me, so anyway, so I but also 
I've seen that there's, if I had my phone, I could have looked this up, couldn't I? There's potentially um, bipolar could help, possibly. I don't know. So that, that interests me. Yeah, it does it interest me. So I'll look into that anyway. But I don't know. I think I think musicians can get away with walking around with tinted glasses, you know, like blue or green and stuff, and kind of expect it. I remember, oh, do you remember Bono? Not do you remember him, obviously he's still around, but Bono was, people were like, for years were criticising him publicly, like the the press were anyway. Oh, he's just posing, he's got tinted glasses, he doesn't need to have all that stuff. When actually he's got a visual impairment, which is quite serious, from what I understand. But he didn't tell anyone. And then I think he got so fed up with being mocked that he told him that actually it's, it's a prescription. His glasses, as mine are, as most people's pres- glasses are, a prescription. I don't wear them for fun, although they are a lot of fun. <laughs> oh. Sometimes I wake up in the morning really early just so I can put them on again. I just miss them so much. So, uh, yeah, so that I'm doing that. What was I originally talking about? Because it wasn't glasses, was it? Oh, right, yeah. Um, Quantum mechanics. So... I started like delving, a little di- bit of like exploring on YouTube, and I came because I was interested in the observer that that particular thing, the idea that someone could observe an experiment, and depending upon the observer, the experiment would change or it would it would be affected by the observer and that, that fascinates me and we're talking even on a, a, mole- a molecular level like on, a, on an atomic level I don't know if that's true so I'm not sure if the Bono thing's true either but I do remember reading that somewhere so if I got it wrong I do apologise but because I know that obviously Bono is a big, you know, it's a big star in that. But that's, I just remember people mocking him for his eyes, for his glasses rather. The same with, um, did you know that uh, 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 Roy Orbison, he wore dark glasses because I think he had an eye operation or he had some kind of operation and he wore the glasses because he was going on stage singing and he wanted to cover up his eyes. But there was nothing wrong with his eyes. He just carried on wearing the big glasses because that became his image. And that's what I read somewhere. And another thing I read somewhere is... The... Do you know... Oh... Did you know? I've got got all these things now. Okay. What's his name? The rapper who has a plaster, like a, uh, you know, kind of plaster you put onto a cut on his his face. Um, I forget his name. He did a song with one of the ladies from Destiny's Child, I think really good song um, done lots of good songs I think anyway the reason for that plaster is I think he had a TV appearance and he had a he had a pimple or a boil or something so he covered it up with the plaster and then that became his trademark so I think the warning is really 
be careful what you do on your first TV appearance because <laughs> you have to end up doing it the whole forever. Hmm. So, oh, yes. Do you know Sting? You know Sting. Every tip you take. That, that one. Don't stand, don't stand so, don't stand so close to me. Sting from Police. He was in Police. So Sting. You alright, Finn? You alright, mate? Hi, darling. Hello. Hello. He's looking for stuff in my pocket. What are you doing? Hey. Hey, hello. Try not to jump onto the camera, please. Thanks. Um, yes, yeah, Sting. Puff, 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 puffer fish, not puffer fish. P Daddy, Diddy. He used to be called Puff Daddy, and now then he changed to pa Puff Diddy, and now he's just Diddy. And soon he apparently is just going to have a number. <laughs> um, I don't know. That's what I've been told. That's what I've read on the internet. I don't know if it's true. He's just going to have a number on a orange jacket. So um, I don't know if that's true or not. It's not up to me. I'm, you know, never really been a Puff Daddy listener. I liked some of the... 50 cent stuff. Well, that was really fun. Did I ever tell you? The, I was in a pub. 2005. Or was it 2007? Might be 2007. And it was around that time anyway. 2005 to 2007. And there was a karaoke night in the pub in my section of the pub. I used to I used to sit kind of in the part where no one else sat. Not initially. Um it was very busy then to, before I started sitting there, then everyone moved to the other side. Um hmm. Vinny, what are you doing man? Be careful of the tripod. This is putting me on edge now because every time he moves I think he's gonna jump and hit the tripod. So, I mean, I could have just moved the table over, which would have taken literally three seconds. <laughs> it's just, I'm quite happy with how all the thing is at the moment, all of the, where things are. And I don't want to really move stuff around, but we'll see. Maybe I'm going to have to do that. Oh. Oh yeah, I was in the, this pub. So a lot of people moved into the my the area that I was in and did the karaoke. And there was so there was adults. There was a few kids in there with their parents, and this little girl, I think it was a, it was a girl or a little boy, but they were very young. Like I don't know, five or six, and there was she she was singing a 50 cent song and the lyrics were very what I'm going to say very inappropriate and there was no swearing but it was innuendo so she was uh, talking about I think some of the lyrics like sucking on my lollipop let's go down to the sweet shop it's kind of and it, I don't know it was kind of but she was singing this totally innocently not knowing you know what she was singing and it was one of the funniest things I've seen her parents were everyone was just ro were not rolling around literally why do people put that R -L was it rolling around R-A on the floor laughing now the last time I rolled around on the floor laughing was 1976 during Planet of the Apes and one of the care workers was uh, tickling me so Planet of the Apes was on telly and I was being tickled and I was rolling around on the floor laughing I might have weed myself but I don't remember 
it wasn't my fault anyway. If, even if I did, it was her. It was her fault. And that's one of my happy memories of childhood. And I don't think I've ever rolled around the floor since then. I mean, I, I like to laugh as much as the next person. Mm. But I don't know if I've ever rolled around the floor. I've rolled around the floor when I've fallen over and not been able to get up. I've rolled around the floor drunk a couple of times in the past. Oh, you know what? Last night I woke up. I woke up at probably about one or two o'clock in the morning. I kicked the wall again. Now, for those that watch regularly or listen regularly rather will might remember that I did exactly the same thing back in probably January February time and I broke my toe like really smashed my foot to bits and I was hobbling around for about two months I did exactly the same thing but this time it it kind of I didn't do it very well not very well but it was I must have caught it on the side rather than flat on so it but my big toe hit the wall and it hurt but it doesn't hurt now oh yes it does actually I just bent it so it's it's still it is tender but not like it was, not like, you know, earlier in the year. I can't believe I did it again. I didn't think I'd ever do it again. I thought it was going to be one of those one-off, well, I have done it before, but I punched the wall before when I've been asleep. And I don't, if I'm asleep, I can't, I'm not taking the blame for anything I do when I'm asleep. I'm asleep. Oh, he's asleep now. He's all cut. He's all... You can't see him. The only way I can really get Vinny on the screen is if I pulled back the camera. But then you'd have my whole body and the whole of the settee and... I don't know. I don't know how... Unless I lowered it. I suppose I could lower the camera a little bit so that it was... I guess my head would be a bit closer to the top of the screen. I'm not sure. I've lost weight, by the way, just in case you hadn't noticed. I'm telling everyone until someone agrees with me. I'm still waiting. So I... Sting... His song was used by Puff Diddy, Daddy, Doddy, whatever his name is, in whatever year it was. I don't remember. It was where it was like a tribute song to. Is it Fats Domino? Um, Biggie, Biggie Slims, Biggie Slim, Biggie, Biggie or something. So I, I, I didn't know of either of those people. I knew about. What's his name? Chirac. Sh no. Shakur. Shakur. Barack. Barack Shakur. What's his name? Uh, the really famous. Because he was in a he was in a movie called Gridlock. Really good movie. If you've never seen it, check it out. It's a good film. It's got it got a scene in it that I've never seen in my life. Something that I've never... Two things, actually, I've never seen before. Which is just a bit out there. But, yeah, it's basically a couple of criminals and they're trying to get out of the city and they can't because of gridlock, basically. Shakur. Is it Shakur? Shakur. Is Shakur... See, I say Shakur now, and I think of Shakur Stevenson, or Shakur Stevens, Stevenson, Stevens, who's a boxer. Beam, beam. 
anyway, whatever his name is, he, um, Tupac, Shakur, Shakur, tu Tupac, yeah, Tupac, so he, I'd heard of him, didn't really know his music, to be fair, but I did, I'd seen him in the movie, and he's a really good actor, so, you know, he's one of those, I think, I'm trying to think of a rapper that's gone on to be a big Hollywood star. I mean, you could say Will Smith, but kind of different kind of rapper to Tupac, I would argue. But I think most people would probably agree. A different kind of music, different kind of rapper. I think he had the potential to go and win an Oscar or more. He's very talented, like actor, very talented performer. Uh, so I never really got to, I've seen his music videos and seen his music since, but I didn't really know who he was as a musician. But I didn't realise, I suppose Will Smith, it was only Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, that's when I first met him, and on the telly, and I didn't, he had some songs. It was always he had the theme tune for that from that TV show, but he had a summertime. It's a summertime. Summertime. It's a summertime. That one. Um, is it boom 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 boom? Something like that. He did another one in the nineties. So I used to love Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I thought he was so funny in that, but. Ironically, it's possibly his cousin that was the funniest one in the show, with all because he did the dancing to Tom Jones. Do you remember that? It was so funny. But then they started going all serious in the show. It, yeah, it got a bit. Yeah, there's quite serious moments, which it's not a bad thing. It's just it, it sometimes, sometimes with. Because it was kind of aimed at, I would probably say, young adults, you know, sort of teenagers. It was it was kind of aimed at that show. Um, well, the camera just gone weird. I think it might be about to run out. Oh, no. Oh, no. If it does, I might just post it anyway, you know. I mean, I don't know if you can even see my face, can you? Because the camera's... The microphones were right there. Anyway, Sting, he, he sued Puff Dad, Puff, Piff, Diddy, Doddy, Diddy, Diddy. I think it's just Diddy now. So he, 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 but he was Puff, did Puff, Puff Daddy at the time. And he sued him. And this is this is out of Sting's mouth, so it's not my own opinion. This is what Sting said. He said, um, they'll be going to another one of his parties. No, he didn't say that. He said he sued and he got he got a settlement because Sting's song was used in the tribute to Biggie Smalls. And as for every breath you take and it was that video on the motorbike and stuff. That was the first time I'd ever even heard of Puff Daddy. And I, that was before he started dating... Uh, what's her name? Jennifer from The Block. So, go on, very good with me old uh, references today. Blimey. Well, he, he sued him. And they came to an, in the court, came to an agreement... Puff Daddy, as he was then, and has to pay Sting two thousand dollars every day for the rest of his life. Two thousand dollars every single day for using his song. Two. <laughs> I mean. I'm guessing he's probably made more money 
Well, he's definitely made more money from that song than he did when he originally released it. $2,000. So that's three, six, seven hundred and twenty, whatever thousand dollars a year for the last, at least the last 20 years. So seven thousand hundred, so fourteen, fifteen million. Let's say twenty million if it's like the late nineties. Let's say twenty million dollars. In fact, it's possibly longer than that. So yeah, maybe he's made over twenty million. I've just. I don't know why I mentioned it. It's just something that, that I... Trivia that I kind of found out about. Also, did you know... Something that you might not know, but... I want to do a trivia day. I might try and do like a trivia Tuesday. Um, coming in, in the future. sort of Because I do the Friday, Q&A Friday. And that seems to have... I kind of feel it's established now. After 23 or 24 weeks of doing it. So I'm thinking maybe Trivia Tuesday. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know what you think. And then I can, you can set, you, yeah, you can send me in bits of trivia as well. So I can read out your bits of trivia. So you can participate. I don't know. Let, let us know what you think. So, I was... I and mean, I've got trivia books and there's stuff online. It wouldn't be difficult. So, I could I could find trivia stuff. But just do like a, a regular thing. I might do that, actually. Trivia Tuesday. I could start tomorrow. Shall I? Shall I start tomorrow? Do Trivia Tuesday tomorrow. Because tomorrow's Tuesday. Today's Monday. And the following day's Wednesday. And yesterday was Sunday. But here's another one. The movie Everything Everywhere All at Once, which won an Oscar, or more than one Oscar, I think. The actor in that was the kid out of Indiana Jones movies. You know, the little kid kept shouting, Indy, Indy, behind you, Indy. And he was about 10 or something in those movies. Now he's probably in his 50s and he looks the same same face see people don't understand I don't think everyone gets me when I say they've still got the same face because I don't if you look at my YouTube channel picture no not my YouTube yeah my YouTube channel picture there's a picture of me when I was about 10 I do not look the same but if you look at a picture of my brother my little brother when he was 10 look at him now same face it's not just that he looks really young well he is young he's 8 years younger than me but he's he just got the same face it's it's hard some people just look kind of all their life they look the same I don't mean they don't age they don't go grey or whatever but just I don't have the same face I've got a different face I don't know how to explain it other than in the weird way that I just did. So, um, what else? Yeah, it's a Tuesday. Should I call it Trivia Tuesday? Q&A Friday, Trivia Tuesday. Yeah, Trivia Tuesday starts tomorrow. I've never been so excited in all my life. So, yeah, Trivia Tuesday. I'm trying to think what else happened today. I took Vinny's mum, who's the lady that had him before me. She's been away and she came back and given Vinny a lot of fuss. Brought him some presents back and he spent a few hours with her in her place in the garden and stuff. So I got a bit of work done here and I had a little bit of a nap and you know I love having him in I love cuddling him and he's lying down and I'm just resting my arm on him and that's nice 
it was kind of nice to have a break. Just it, see, battery's run out. Battery's gone. So I might actually just update that, upload it to YouTube anyway, because oh, why not? I'm interested how long it lasted though. So, so the battery lasted for about forty-five minutes, which, well, let's face it, it's not long enough for what I do. It's fine for maybe a hypnosis recording that lasts for half an hour. Maybe the problem is I had it on 4K and I should have done it at a, a lesser resolution, which meant it might not have eaten the battery up so much. Another way of doing it would be to get it plugged into the mains all the time. So I'm going to look into that, figure, figure out how to do that. Because... It just seems a bit of a shame. I've got this camera. It's a decent camera. I've had it a couple of years. It's an SV1 Sony, SV1 or whatever. It's one of those point and film camera things. Video cameras. It can take photographs as well. And it just, you know, I've got the the video software that I've still got on trial. So it'd be good to, and this, because it records onto a disc, I can then put the disc into the, upload that onto my computer. So instead of using the software on the iPad, which is very limited, I can use a proper video editing software and maybe improve the picture or just... How to make it a little bit better than my normal videos are. A little bit more, I don't know, play around a little bit with it. But just, just make it a little bit more professional-ish. Although I do find it funny. This is something I used to do. But sometimes I've gone onto YouTube and I've seen someone and the introduction is proper professional like graphics and um for hate was it 4k 10k whatever really like a movie almost the beginning as it introduces the the video channel and then it goes to the person and they're they're using a webcam or which is what I used to do, but nowadays don't really need to use webcams so much. I mean, for streaming maybe, but for recording YouTube videos, I mean, just a, just a phone is generally doable nowadays, depending on the lighting and that. But cause it's quite dark in this room. From a camera perspective, there's not a lot, not a lot of light. And I've got one light up there, and I've got two lights either side that I put on. And I do have another light in the storage room that I could put over there, and I could use that light to kind of come from a different angle. But <sighs> in fact, no, I've got I got another one. So I've got one, two, three. Yeah, so I could have four or five lights if I wanted. But I don't know if I can be bothered with that much lighting because it's just be so hot. What I thought if I really got into the videos, I could transfer, transform this room. <laughs> hey, calm yourself down. <laughs> calm down. <laughs> calm down. No, calm down. Calm down, Vinny. Calm down. Good girl. Calm down. No. 
calm down. His little cheeks are boom, 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 boom. What are your little cheeks going like that for? Calm yourself down. <laughs> no, you're listening. You're listening for something to react to. There's nothing worth reacting to. There's nothing. I'm going to try and block his ears up now. I'm just holding his, my hands over him. Come on, you don't have to listen to anything. That's the thing, though, because when I make these recordings, there's no sound in this room or in this flat. You know, there's no music, no TV, no radio, which means he's listening. I mean, you know, quite often he does fall asleep listening to me. I'm sure it isn't from boredom or anything. But he does listen out for other stuff. What can I do with my top now? Because there's no one looking. Oh, that's better. Oh. <sighs> yeah. So, um, Trivia Tuesday. Blimey. Yeah, so that's the next one then. So tomorrow, maybe, have a look into it. The thing is, I'll be working pretty solid on the website. I know it doesn't get a huge amount of visits, and it might, you know, might be worth having a look now because it's starting to pick up, starting to have what it needs to have starting to I mean, I mean it's never going to be complete but I've really made a lot of changes to it and improved it in a way that may not seem obvious at the moment but for example if you was to go to okay uh, Jason's bedtime story time or sleepy boring objects so you go onto the main page go down and there's a list of podcasts if you was to click on one of those two that i just mentioned it'll bring you up a list um let's say 30 on one and 35 of the other um podcast and you click on whatever one you want it will then take you to a page where there's a video from YouTube that you can watch of that episode. There's a podcast player of the episode that you can listen to if you want on that page. Or, 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 or and you can also download the file of all four recordings the one with music without music five and ten hour ones you can download those all in one go so it's you know it's quite quite good so, so even if you don't want to download anything you can still stream the recording from the website or watch the youtube video from the website so you don't have to go to um the podcast you can just w listen to it on the website so it's just something that's that might be useful for those that are, that want to listen or you know that want to use that as service. I haven't got every not all my podcasts are up yet on the website. I'm still working on them. Um, just started doing the stress and pain relief podcast. So I need to work on that tomorrow and get that up to date. And I've not yet completed the Let Me Boy to Sleep podcasts there yet. But I'm getting there. I've got about another 80, I think, to up to upload to make that all up to date. And then there's, yeah, there's a lot of work to do regarding putting the videos and the audio players and stuff on there. So it's going to take months to do, but it's getting there, you know, starting to starting to kind of take shape. And I have a 
I have an idea, I have an idea of how I'd kind of like it to be in the future. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, there's, there's going to be a few different ways of using the website. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with it. I'm trying to think what else I do. Oh yeah, I've been uploading the podcast episodes on Spreaker without music. You know, the five hour and ten hours without music. So I've been creating and uploading those podcast episodes. So I finished the Jason's Bedtime Story Time and I've just been like working my way through them. There's it's a lot of it's, a, it's very time consuming doing that but it will be done eventually it will all be done and we're now blimey we're coming towards the the second week of oh, September I nearly said October then which is weird I mean it's like this boxing alert Boxing alert <laughs> this coming week at the weekend. Canelo is fighting Belanga, defending his world titles to Belanga. So that's in America, I think. It might be in Mexico, I think it's in America. And then the following week, which is the 21st, that's the I think it's Wembley and it's Anthony Joshua against. Dubois plus a lot of other like really big fights as well uh, so it's going to be yeah a couple of really good night, good weeks of boxing well a couple of good weekends of boxing rather so yeah so that's something to look forward to so I look forward to this weekend but especially the following weekend. Oh, by the way, if you're going to bet any money, bet on Canelo losing. That's terrible, isn't it? Belanga's going to win. Wow, how do I know? I don't. I just thought of it then. So, if you bet on Belanga to win, and trust me, it, Canelo's the favourite. He's always the favourite. I don't think Belanga will be given much hope of winning by the by the betting odds so if you do bet don't bet obviously if you've got a, a gambling issue then forget what I said because I'm not going to promote gambling or any other vices to anyone however if you win any money <laughs> I want 92% thank you also do I was thinking do the lottery I got this feeling that everyone should do the lottery. Uh, I'm not sponsored by the lottery company, by the way. God, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? No, I don't have any sponsorship at all. I sponsor myself. Myself. I, sp I, I sponsor myself. Why do someone say sell instead of self? Myself. No, don't you mean yourself? No, I can't say self. I say sell. Me sell. So, so ducks, duckies, I'm going to bring this to a closure very soon. It's a shame that the camera didn't last. I was hoping it would. I guess I need to just play around with it until it works. Not the first, <laughs> first time I've done that. Um... I just want to, yeah, I, I shouldn't really, I kind of feel, oh, I just like, it's not working properly, I just want it to work, I don't have to look into how it works, I don't have to, you know, just, I don't want to put any effort in, I just want it to just work, but then I think, they're not complicated, if they're complicated, we they wouldn't sell millions. They're, you know, th these cameras are not that complicated to work. You just need to get to know how to how to use them, and then that's it. 
and I, I kind of figured that out. I think someone said that years ago, like about driving. If driving was complicated, you know, if you just there wouldn't be billions of people driving. You know, it's 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 something that anyone can learn to do, pretty much. However, I'm not sure about my spatial awareness. Because when I had driving lessons, I was either too close, was it, um, I was too close to the pavement, and I said, or the curb, you know, too close to the curb, driving too close to the curb, and I said, why do you keep moaning about that? He said, you're on the wrong side of the road. Um, but he's, he's kind of, I didn't, I couldn't really... I never really got my head around the idea that... Because we have small roads in this country. Not all roads are small, but we have motorways. But not motorways like they have in, let's say, Germany. And they have like a hundred different lanes and stuff. The We have... But we have roads. Some roads are big, but generally... A lot of roads are not big at all. They were just big enough for horse and carts to get through in the old days, and that was it. And so two cars can pass each other generally, but all it is is some white lines on the on the road in the middle to separate. That's the only thing there is. And in London, where I used to live. The reason why I didn't, I couldn't see the point in driving is because the amount of people that were parked outside their houses, and you'd be lucky if you can get down the road, because you had to stop every, every three or four seconds to let a car get through, and they stopped to let you get through because you couldn't just drive straight down. You had to keep driving around cars, and I don't think even. I don't think I'd ever have the patience for that. You know, I've actually... I remember when I was in Stratford. I remember a lot, don't I? When I was in Stratford, there was the traffic. And I started thinking, is it worth getting a driving license, learning to drive and whatever? I kind of wish I had now, but I don't know. And I'm walking towards the train station, Stratford train station from where I lived. So I get onto, I don't know, was it Leighton Stone Road? Walking towards Maryland station. And then just you follow that round and that leads to Stratford station. It's not, not a long walk really. What, 15 minutes probably? I can't remember. And I'm walking and there's this bus, 65. I'm not sure if it was, but that's my memory of it being a 65. I wonder if it was a 65. <laughs> wow. And it kept going past me. You know, stopping at bus stops and then I was walking and I kept passing the bus. And I think I actually got to Stratford before the bus did. And all I was doing was walking. And as anyone will tell you, anyone that knows me, they will tell you that I'm not the fastest walker in the world. In fact, me and my neighbour were talking about going to the chemist or the, the pharmacy to get our medication. And I said, she said, I said, well, I might walk up there with you. And she said, no, I haven't got that much time to spare. <laughs> I said, what? She said, I don't want to spend the whole day going up there. I thought she was talking about Vinny, taking Vinny with us. I said, well, no, Vinny's not that slow. She said, I'm not talking about Vinny. I said, like, you're too slow. You know, blimey, don't hold back. Just say what you think. <sighs> Vinegar. He's asleep. He's actually asleep. Oh, no, you're not now, are you? Sorry. You know, sometimes he lays there with his eyes open 
and I think he's awake. So I go like to stroke him and that, and it makes him jump because he's actually asleep. He sleeps with his eyes open. That is freaky. Oh, mate. You are so pretty. Yes, you are. So I'm going to go. I didn't talk about the old quantum mechanics or quantum physics. And I will just briefly mention it. This experiment, it's a very famous rice experiment where they did, uh, it cooked some rice and people have done it all over the world, tested it out and it seems to work the same or similarly um, everywhere. So cook some rice, which of course has water in the rice. So they take and they basically empty the rice into three containers which are then sealed shut you know airtight shut glass containers even amount in each one so you got the you got the rice but you also got the water and stuff in there as well I guess and then you put a label on each one of them one is love one is uh, negativity for example and another label would be ignore so for a period of time, sometimes they did it for seven days, Some someone did it for 30 days, I think someone did it for 90 days. And they would just talk to the jar, separate from the others, so they'd take the jar. So the one they ignored, they wouldn't touch, just left it in, in the cupboard, in the cupboard, kitchen cupboard or whatever, just didn't touch it. The one that was had love on, they'd take it, onto the table, hold the jar, and talk to it. But say lovely things like, I love you, you're the bestest ever. You've got such cute toes. I, I don't know, whatever people say, nice things. And with the other jar, without saying the words, it was the opposite. It was a lot of negative stuff. Quite harsh stuff as well. And they did this for about, I don't know, 30 seconds, uh, maybe a few times a day, maybe once a day for a certain amount of time. And after a week or a month or two months, whatever, they'd get the jars and put them all together. And in every instance that I saw, at least, the the jar that wasn't touched, that was ignored, had like normal kind of decay or decay like normal wear and tear of what would normally happen so it didn't really wasn't really affected so much the one that had been that was loved that had love on the on the lid that had been they'd be nice to the person had been talking nicely to them to that jar however weird it might sound to do something like that when I say it out loud, the the contents were in really good condition. The one with the negative jar, let's say, decayed, like really, you know, sort of uh, mouldy and all kinds of, yeah. That wasn't good. Completely different to the first one. And they they copied this experiment with plants. I saw a different experiment with plants. Two plants. One where they were saying lovely things to, to the plant. For, you know, a few minutes a day. Maybe a couple of times a day. And then another plant where they were verbally being negative and hostile. And the plant that was had positivity and love blossomed, and the other one decayed. And the third experiment, which was very strange, now I've told you about it, I can forget all about it now, can't I? I just like that, got rid of that information. Trivia Tuesday, Trivia Tuesday. But on a Monday, on a Monday, 
Trivia Tuesday on a Monday? Yeah. There's a jingle there somewhere. So I... Yeah, this... There was this plant, or like a tree, like a small tree, on a table, in a plant pot. Next to another small tree, same kind of tree, in another plant pot. A weird sound. Isn't that weird? It's a real strange sound. Like, coming from somewhere. Oh well. And what the scientists did, they attached this like a, a lie detector thing, but probes into one of the trees, the small trees, in order so that the it could let off energy and you could see it on the machine spiking. So I don't quite show how it works, but you could see energy change in the tree. And what, what happened is this man came along and he completely cut to bits the other tree, chopped it down. I mean, there are only little trees on a table, but he completely, you know, wasn't particularly kind to the tree, let's say. And I don't know if he shouted when he was doing it, but then he left, left the room. Now, I'm not sure if they put the probes onto the second tree first or or after that happened. But then they had six men come in. So they set the tree up, attach it to these probes, uh, which was kind of like a lie detector machine. And they brought in these five or six different men. And the first five men just walked past the tree nothing on the machine there's no no movement the man the sixth man was the man that had uh, basically ripped to pieces the other tree earlier on and the machine spiked went absolutely all over the place i just find that fascinating absolutely fascinating um, in a way that I find it's difficult to really explain. So I wrote a poem. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> oh, can I imagine? I used to write poems. I might try and get back into it. Wednesday poems. What do you think? <laughs> Poetry Wednesday. So it'd be good if there was a, a week number, a week name rather, a week day, that's the right one, a week day starting with P. So is it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, no there isn't is there? What about a month? We could do a monthly one, January, February. Did you know what's the one name that you can get out of the, uh, of the... The calendar, the one human name that you can get out of the calendar. So, you know, if you get the first initial of each month, January, February, March, so J, F, January, J for January, F for February, M for March, A for April, M for May, so you know, like that. What's the one name you can get? Out of the elf, out of that, out of the twelve months, like actually not not modded up, but just all in one concept, one thing. Do I, do I say I tell you? Jason. July, August, September, October, November. Jason, hey, ear ear up. So not only does my main my name means healer. In uh, mythological Greek, 
or healing hands, but uh, the months of the year were named after me, or at least five of them were. The only name, you can't get any other names. Well, there might be names that are out there that I don't not heard of before, but I don't know any names to start with. J, January, for JF. So there's probably no names, so what's next? F, FM. I don't know any names that begin with F and then it got M as the next letter. So then M, A. March, April, May, M, A, M, Mam, I mean that could be a name, couldn't it? Mamj, Mamj, so I guess M, A, M, but that's not a name, is it Mam? Is it, could be I suppose, March, April, May, so April, May, June, Amj, no, June, July, August, June, July, or Juju. No, so basically, Mam potentially M A M, but that's not really a name. I mean, can anything could be a name, can't it? Um, I mean, there's a boxer, heavyweight boxer, in the Olympics, and his his first name is Delicious. Delicious. I mean, wow. That's that's a that's a tasty name, isn't it? That's a definite that's a very it's you stand out, you no one's gonna forget your name if your name is delicious. I might do that if I if I ever get pregnant. Mind you, I think I'd just go for junior. I think everyone I think Jason is such a good name. Not enough people get called it. I think it's uh, highly underrated. So I think I'd probably have it. If I had a daughter or even or a son, Jason. But not Junior, just just Jason. Jason the second, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I mean, bearing in mind, I was named after a, a fictional television detective called Jason King. That my dad used to get called Jason because he looked a bit like Jason King from the TV show in the 60s. So that's why I was called Jason. Uh, it's weird though, isn't it, really? I don't know why. This. It doesn't matter because I, I like the name. Well, I, I like to think that the reason they call me Jason is because. My parents were studying in the library and one was into Greek mythology and the other one was really into knitting or something, I don't know. And they met and they thought, oh, and one just really into names. And they thought, oh yeah, one's into the into the months <laughs> how can you be into the months would that be astrology I don't know so and they got together and like and my mum said oh did you know that well the only name you can get out of the alpha out of the I keep saying the alphabet the only name you can get out of the the month you go to the beginning, the first letter of each month, there's only one name that comes out. And my dad said, do you mean Mam? She said, no, it's not Mam, that's not a real name. She said, well, if, if you can call someone delicious, then you can call them someone Mam. Don't pick on the, someone called delicious, it's a heavyweight boxer, you don't want him after you. I said, no, I'm not making fun of the name, I'm just saying, if it's a, it's a good name, it's a, it's a nice name. I wish I was called that. It's a much more interesting name. Um, but yeah. You're trying to dig out of it. You, you, I think you made fun of the name. I didn't make fun of the name. But this was back in 1965. So, you know. Doesn't matter. Now. 
Jason. The only name you can get out of the months of the year. Ooh. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you very much for listening. Remember to be kind to yourself. Remember that you do deserve to be happy. Lots of love.